Hi, this is Dina with Pretty Productive. Welcome back to my channel. Today what I'm going to be doing is a plan with me for the week of March 22nd through March 29th. I am moving into a B6 Aura Estelle cloud. I've kind of got half the setup done. Um, what I discovered when I ordered some inserts from Cloth and Paper is that their B6 inserts are very different sizing than everybody else and the printables that I've done. So you'll kind of see what I'm doing to kind of fix that as I go along. So just to introduce you to this, this is the black cashmere, I believe it's called. Um, I have the cloth and paper April cards in here. These are printables from I believe these are from Perfectionism print. No, Annie Plans Printables, I believe. Oh wait, hold on. Yes, it is Perfectionism Prints. Um, this is the calendar. I have marked all the birthdays for the year. And then I'm gonna start with this one. This one is definitely from Annie Plans Printables. It is the Hobonichi style hourly. Um, so I do like to do a block schedule, so I'm going to be working with this first. And then what I've added is also a daily list, which I'm going to be using as a planner part. And then for the memory keeping that I've been currently using in my personal size planner, I'm going to be using this printable from Annie Plans Prints. And I've used the stickers from our shop for the days of the week. And I think this will be good because it has a habit tracker, it has the meals, it has some area to write. And then what I've been doing in my half letter is kind of a recap for the weeks of wins and losses. And then I can do a daily journal here and there's still more room to write back here. So I can do my, um, track my journaling and also my Bible study on the back and lots of notes. And then my gratitude is going to go here. And this is the same insert. It's still the Hobonichi one. So, and this gratitude sticker is from my shop, Pretty Productive, as well. So that is where I'm going to start. I did put in also some additional type of, of one-page dailies. So this has, oh, actually, I'm sorry, this is the week. Um, but instead of a week on two page, it's got the horizontal here and then the to-do list and meals over here. So I'm gonna try out both different ones and see what I like. And then I also printed, this one was from Coffee Monster Co. I believe it was a freebie in her Facebook group. And she did offer all the different sizes. So I printed it in the B6. So I'm trying to minimize. I find that I'm carrying both planners, both my personal rings, as well as my half letter to track meals and things like that. So the half letter is just gonna stay at home. It will still contain my meal plan, my food tracking, all that kind of stuff, anything that's kind of related around wellness. And then I'm gonna put my personal rings to the side for right now as I work with this one. The thing I'm finding with my personal rings, I just don't have enough room to write, so I'm adding different pages. So I'm gonna see if the B6 works better, giving me more room on each page. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I also have put into here, this was from the Coffee Monster Co. I don't remember if it was their Christmas or their, I think it was their Christmas Advent calendar. And then I've gone ahead and pulled the stickers from my shop that I will be using as well um, in here. So the reason why they have this at the top is because they normally are in my sticker book from Cloth and Paper. And I just have um, all my different ones from the shop in different fonts and different foils just so I can grab them easily. So I hate that way that looks, but I didn't want to have to print everything again. Okay, so we're gonna take this to the side. I'm gonna put this to the side for right now, and we're gonna start here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is mark yoga because that's the first thing I do during the day. And I believe I printed them, I did. This was actually a special request one from a 
customer for my shop and I went ahead and made some for me too because I don't know why with as much as I've been doing yoga I didn't think to make my own sticker. Um, so on Monday it's at 8, on Tuesday it's at 7, on Wednesday it's at 8. I won't be going Tuesday or Friday. Oh no. Oh, there we go. I won't be going Thursday or Friday, and then I'll be going Saturday. Oh, that's at seven. Okay. And then I also pulled some different shades of the erasable pins, as well as my dot markers for list. So I've got these over here too. Go ahead and date these really quick. So Monday is the 22nd. Tuesday is the 23rd. 24th. 25th. Is that right? 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th. Okay, so I did uh, start with my list that you probably have seen before if you have seen one of my videos before. Let me see if I can get the glare off of the camera. You see that one does it? Yeah, that one does it. Okay, so for Monday, I need to do um, some phone calls. So I'm going to just make my list over here on the side. I need to email cloth and paper on my inserts. I need to call on my CPAP machine. I need to call Cigna. I need to work on Etsy orders, so I'm just kind of come back here. Do my coding down here. So blue is Etsy, green is budget, purple is to do, to call, Brown is church. And red, because I hate it, is to clean. So I stopped putting in kind of what I thought I was going to do for cleaning because I'm finding that I wasn't getting them done and then I would lose track of it. So I'm kind of just leaving it open and then when I have some time I can plug in some cleaning tests I need to do. Um, on Saturday, we are doing a smoke off with the Traeger at my sister's house. So I'm just going to write smoke off. Something that our husbands have been talking about for quite some time. We're finally going to get to do it. Um, on, I'm going to start with Monday first. So I have written down, you can see this here. I have written down to email cloth and paper, to call on the CPAP machine because they have been calling me, call Cigna. Um, I'm going to work on the Etsy orders in the afternoon. I love erasable pens. Probably take me about two and a half hours. I need to edit and post my April budget setup. And I need 
to which I'm already doing is filming my plan with me in post. So on Tuesday I have the yoga written down with Dev Yoga. Thursday I have two different appointments. So I have one at nine. I have a doctor's appointment at 11. Now, I have been working with a company on seeing if I want to go back to work. It is really a full-time job just to get ready <laughs> for it. So, very much not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for a career. I'm not looking to go back into the same industry. I'm not looking for full-time. I'm really looking for part-time work from home just to do a little bit just so that I can kind of stay in that rhythm and I enjoy working and I find that I get more done when I have tasks I need to do at a certain time. So I put this on a 30 day stay because we're working um, with my dad to get my mom into a memory care facility and it was just too much. They Every day they had a webinar scheduled for me or a call or something and I just really didn't have the energy or the mental space to worry about it. So I scheduled an appointment with him on the 25th, which is less than the 30 days, but um, so I'll either decide to go forward with the company or just say I'm off, I'm done. Um, so that is what's happening there. On Sunday, I'm gonna watch church online. Can't wait till I can go back. And then on Friday, this way. Mm, I don't have an exercise color. I guess I'll use purple. So on Friday, I'm going to walk in the morning and then I will film my budget with me and weekly check-in. Well, that one's done, that one's done, these are done, that's done, and that's done. Okay, so I'm going to come back over here to... Tuesday, actually, I'm to pick the note to gather and roll out trash. So now that The Bachelor is done, my Mondays are not as fun. I'm very disappointed in how the whole thing ended, but that's a whole nother conversation for another day. So on Monday nights now, I can do something other than plan to watch The Bachelor for two hours. I guess the voice is back on. I could watch that. On Tuesday, I don't need to go to the grocery store. I already did that. That's my normal Tuesday job. What was I supposed to do on Tuesday? Oh. <laughs> I have got to get these done. New releases. They are done and in inventory. I just need to photograph them and get the listings up. So I cannot keep putting that off. I don't know why I keep putting it off, um, but I'm gonna get those up on Tuesday. And then I have to, I don't wanna do it, but I have to update LinkedIn profile and post a resume. Do that before my Thursday meeting. And then on Wednesday, I have yoga at eight. I have got to get my closet cleaned out.
It's about that time in Arizona where you can put all your winter clothes away because it's now back in the 80s, probably not gonna cool down again. So I just need to get that cleaned out and so I can get things in. I've got things in three different closets right now and it's driving me crazy. And then on Saturday, because my daughter is not cleaning, I need to clean the house. And then on, let's see, I did a little laundry. So on Wednesday, I'll throw in a load of laundry. And then on Saturday, we'll finish the laundry. And then on Sunday, I've been keeping Sundays very open and unscheduled. So I'll do church in the morning. I'll go for a walk, definitely. I can go to the gym, but they don't have yoga on the weekend. So I like to just go for a walk. And then I can keep the rest of the day completely unplanned. So um, this is a really easy week. I feel like I'm forgetting something really important. Oh, yeah, I am. So I need to work with my sister on finding... Um, memory care for my mom so that's going to be um, I have to she's going to call me this afternoon and we're going to figure out a time that we can both go to view some places and then set up some appointments with um, my dad to see the places so I'm just going to leave that open just as a to-do list and then I'll work with her on what day that needs to happen this week Okay, so I think that is the major ones. And then what I wanted to do in my dailies and in my, so this one is my memory keeping now. And what I do is when I sit down to do my memory keeping spread, I pull out kind of like a to-do journal, everything that happened. And that's what this is going to do. It's replacing the one from my personal rings. I wanted to go ahead and mark down what I'm currently watching on Netflix and what I'm currently listening to on Audible. Which I think I pulled, maybe not. So on Audible, I am listening to the fourth book in the Bridgerton series, and it is called Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. I said I wasn't going to go down this hole, but my book club read book two, and then I've already listened to book three, and now I'm on book four. And oh, it's playing. <laughs> and then I'm currently watching on Netflix. What's that called? I just watched the Nate Bergazzi um, comedy special, The Average American. I think it's like the greatest average American. It's very funny. And then I started watching, what is it called? Hold on one moment, let me look it up. Um, it's the one with Katherine Heigl and Sarah Schock from, oh for the Lord. Um, let's see, what is it called? <laughs> I cannot remember. I just started it today. Okay, I'll write that down later. Because I can't remember. 
And then this will be our meals. And this is going to be activity. And then this will be habits. So the things that I track is my AM routine, my PM routine, water intake, vitamins, activity, and then um, actually I'm going to do journaling and Bible study on their own over here because I've been getting a little bit behind on my Bible study so I am going to put tracking food down here. And then I can do my wins and my losses here, meals here, activity here, kind of a journal of what happened during the day. And then on the back, I can either do pictures or something else here and then journaling and then Bible study will all go in here. So for this one, it's really just more of an after the fact, journaling, putting it down here so that when I do memory keeping, I'll remember what I did. And then this one is more of a pre-plan. Um, I did remember I had stickers for walking. I do not want to come off here. Walking there. And eventually I'm going to go over to the weights and things like that at the gym, but right now I'm really enjoying yoga. Even though I did think she tried to kill us today. And then on Thursday I'm going to need to walk because I won't be going to yoga. Actually, I could go to yoga at 4.30. But the question is, will I go at 4.30? I think I will. not gone to any of the evening ones so that'll be fun okay so that's kind of my block schedule what it looks like right now I've started my to-do list on this side and then I've got my memory keeping set up and then the last thing I need to do is go to my daily and my daily instead of writing out everything for the week I'm going to be doing it more on a kind of a night before basis because I find that um, if I wanna move things around, I wanna be able to look at my weekly schedule and then go ahead and decide what I can do versus having to cross things out and move it. So on my daily, this will be Monday, the 22nd. I have yoga at 8. I need to film plan with me. I don't know why I put there at 9. I'm in yoga from 9, 8 to 9. So I'm going to move. Everything needs to come down. <laughs> Fantastic. I need to edit and post April budget setup. We need to work on Etsy orders. I need to gather and roll out trash. That was my daughter's job when she lived here, and there are so many times my husband and I totally forget because we we're so used to her doing it. So, kind of miss that about her. Um, on my to-do list,
female cloth and paper about my inserts Need to call on my CPAP machine call Cigna and I have to talk to my sister about memory care okay and then my tracking I'm not going to do here I'm going to do on my um, other one but I do want to note I need to do gratitude every day because I've kind of gotten on the habit I used to do the Rachel Hollis um, book and I loved it because it was five lines of gratitude and ten lines of goal setting and then it was just one more book that I had to carry around with me so that's why I did a gratitude section in my new planner because I just want everything in one location. Um, but I'm kind of out of the habit now, so I definitely need to write it on there so that I know to do it every day. And then this will be tomorrow. So this will be this the 23. So this will be Tuesday, and this will be tomorrow, Monday. Okay, so that's everything that I'm gonna do for this video. So if you have any questions at all, please let me know um, because I get questions on them each time. These are the Clean Dot, Clean Color Dot by Zig. They have a thin on one and a thicker kind of ball that are perfect to make those little dots with. Um, this set I got off Amazon. They are linked below in my description. And then these are the Friction, the .4. Um, gel pen also from Amazon you can get just the black or you can get the whole color set so I have both unfortunately because <laughs> I just roll that way um, so that is everything for this plan with me please let me know if you have any questions have a great week and I'll talk to you in my next video take care